Hi, this is Dave from the Center for Writing and Rhetoric. Uh, in this screencast, what we're going to do is walk you through setting up your first Google Sites page using the Google Sites web framework. So here we are at google.com, uh, which I got to just by putting www.google.com into my browser. And what we're going to do is go from the Google home page into Google Sites. If you look here up on the left, there's a, a list of links to a lot of the products that Google hosts, uh, one of which is Google Sites. To get there, you have to click on the More button, and it's kind of down towards the bottom of the list. Right here, it says Sites. I'm going to click on that link, and it's going to bring up Google Sites' sign-in page. And what we're going to use to sign in is a Google account. Uh, I'm going to be using a Gmail address and we're asking all of our students at Ole Miss who are creating ePortfolios to be using Gmail accounts as well. If you don't have a Gmail account, you're going to need to create one. And if you need any assistance, the previous screencast walked you through that process. So what I'm going to do right now is put in my Gmail address, which is CWR Teaching Center. I don't need to append the at gmail.com. I could if I wanted to. Uh, I'm going to also put in my password. And I'm going to sign in. That's going to bring up a introductory page where it just makes sure that I'm interested in creating a website, which is why I'm signing in here. That's true. Uh, so I'm going to click on the Create Site button. And it's going to bring up the form that I'm going to be using to initiate the process of creating a Google site. And for our ePortfolios, we're going to use a couple of naming and template and design conventions to at least initially set up the site, though in later screencasts we'll show you ways that you can further customize your ePortfolio site for your showcase at the end of the semester. But at the very beginning, we're all going to start off at the same place. Uh, first thing to do is you see the, the template. We're not going to choose any templates. We're going to keep it blank. To name our site, we're going to use a specific convention. I'm going to use my first initial, my last name, and the abbreviation for the course that I'm enrolled in that I'll be creating an ePortfolio for. So what I'm going to do is type in D. M O L I N A W R I T 102. And this is my first initial, David, my last name, Melina, and writing 102, which is hypothetically the course I'm enrolled in. And if you see here at the bottom, this is going to be the URL that the site is assigned to. Underneath the URL, uh, we see choose a theme. We're going to have to click on this uh, expansion box and we are going to choose the theme simple. Uh, again, later in, in, a, in a future podcast, we'll talk a little bit about customizing your ePortfolio, but at the beginning, we're all going to start out with the simple template. So make sure you click on simple and it's highlighted. Then go down and expand the more options. And what we're going to all start out with is that uh, our sites are private, so click on the radio button for only people I specify can view this site. In a future podcast, we will show you how to share the site with your teacher and with classmates, and also to uh, retroactively make the site public to the entire world if that's what you choose to do. Our sites should not be uh, containing mature content, so we're not going to have to click that box. And the last thing we do is just type in the letters that we see and we need to create our site. So here we are. We have a new Google site set up in the simple template and for its name I have my first initial last name and the abbreviation for the English course that I'm taking. That's all we need to do to initially set up our site. In a future screencast what we're going to do is show you how to edit the site so that it can be used as your ePortfolio for your course at the University of Mississippi. Thanks for watching and I hope this screencast was helpful.